on my Instagram, we are going to find all the solutions to x to the third power is equal to 8. So, you might be thinking about like this, x to the third power is equal to 8. Maybe let's just take the cube root on both sides. This way, this and that can cancel, and we will just get what? What's cube root of 8? 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. So it looks like we just have x equals 2. Well, yes, but this is not complete. In fact, this is only one of the answers, and yes, this is the only real solution. In fact, we have two more. And the reason why is because you can see x to the third power, well, you can expect to have at most three different solutions. This is just the first answer, the real solution. In fact, we have two more complex solutions. So to solve it, I will show you. Firstly, let's move the a to the other side so we can look at this as x cubed minus 8 equals 0. And now we are going to factor this. This right here is just x cubed. And then this right here is 2 to the third power. And that's equal to 0. So as you can see, we have a difference of 2 cubes. And the formula is the following. Remember, a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b and then times what? a squared plus just a b right here and then lastly plus b squared. So as you can see, x is the a, 2 is the b. So let's use the formula. Right here we get x minus 2 for the first part and then we multiply that by x squared, right? And then plus a b. So that means 2 times x. So let's put down 2x. And lastly, we add b squared. b is the 2. And we square that, so we get 4. So again, this right here is because we have the 2, and then we have to square that. And that is equal to 0. Now, how do we proceed? We have uh, this times that is equal to 0, so let's just go ahead, put the first factor equal to 0, so x minus 2 equal to 0, and then we also put the other factor, x squared plus 2x plus 4, we also make that equal to 0. For the first equation, just add 2 on both sides, so we get x is equal to 2. And that's exactly what we got right here, right? However, we get two more solutions right here, and they are the complex solutions. To solve this, let's complete a square. And the reason why is because we already have a 1 in front of the x squared. And not only that, the coefficient of x is even, so completing a square will be easier. So to make that happen, let's move the 4 to the other side. We get x squared plus 2x, leave a space, and that's equal to 4 to the other side, we get negative 4. Then, what do we do? Remember, to complete a square, we have to look at the coefficient of x right here, and then we take half of it first. So let's work out 1 half times this coefficient, which is 2, and then square that. Half of 2 is 1, so 1 squared is just 1. That means right here we are going to add 1, and right here we are going to add 1. This is so nice because now this right here is a perfect square. If you factor it, you get x plus 1 times x plus 1. And we can write that as x plus 1 squared equals this, and that is negative 3. Now, to proceed, it's a perfect square, so let's take the square roots on both sides. This and that cancel, and remember, let's attach the plus or minus right here. And you will see that we can have x plus 1 equals that. So let's move the 1 to the other side. So x equals negative 1 here, and then we have that plus or minus. Square root of negative 3, hmm, what is that though? Here, because we have a negative inside of the square root, that becomes the i. So let's put on i right here, the imaginary unit. Square root of 3 is just square root of 3, so we just keep that. So as you can see, this is our first answer, and then Another one, another one, because of the plus minus. So altogether, we have three solutions to that. That's it.